Black Nation TV. Black Nation TV. Black Nation TV. How you doing? Black Nation people, my name is Q, and uh, you are watching Sync in Tune. Sync in Tune, as in let's come together through music and all things melody. Now, this week we are hanging out with Miss Moonchild Sinelli, and uh, we're going to go check out a young, promising talent. I've got a gakiso. Yeah, some tongue twisters in the house. But I went to Gahiso to go hang out with this beautiful young lady called Shazla Hippie. So, yeah, I think we should just check out the Moonchild interview and then you'll see what's up. Stay tuned. Black Nation TV, sick and shoot. and who don't apologize for their artistic nature. I'm talking real educated, okay, longevity art. And um, so when I was thinking about it, I was like, who do I want next? Hmm, I think Moonshaw will have to do. So we can get some color up in the studio. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, cool. Welcome to Sink and Tune. Um, thank you for coming. I know you're busy getting ready for like your listening session and your PR and mm -hmm. your tours and stuff. Um, you're such a ball of energy and you are so real and you are so dedicated. I want to know like Moonchild, her journey up until this point, like tell us a bit about your childhood. Mm -hmm. um, well I grew up completely, um, I did my high school and primary school there. Uh -huh. um, I started, my mom put me in modeling from when I was like six months of oh. being a baby for a brand. That's cute. And when I was four years, I was the face of pet stores, getting free clothes and yeah. stuff. And then from there, I did ballroom and Latin dance until high school. Then my mom felt like it was the time to go to school. So, I mean, um, from that, I did have friends, but it wasn't a lot because it was always like school rehearsal. Hence, I never went to cook or anything because I couldn't kneel for the moms of my to be bland, those type of things. Yeah, um, I wouldn't cook, she didn't want me to burn because I needed to enter competitions yeah, and yeah. stuff. And I hated boys. Yeah, it was mainly stage, is what I yeah, know, like yeah. stage is my comfort. Like. Yeah. And then the whole music thing, like we started doing bands, my mom would organize things at her workplace. Yeah. Or I'll go teach at a church, like I'd go to different churches, yeah. teach them dancing, like modern dancing. Yeah. And we'd get a gig, then we'd get money from my mom's work. Or, but it was very, I was very like out there, like stage was my thing. She's so inspiring. She is just so inspiring. Um, so yeah, that was us vibing with Moonchild. And uh, yeah, we vibed with Ooh, Shaz Le Hippie as well. So let's go check that out. We are here out here, waiting for Miss Shaz Le Hippie to hook us up with the young interview Nyana with the crew. Hippie comes from, it originates from a whole Motuako thing. So now in the Motuako nation, yeah. hippie, and what it means in Motuako is that it's a hip hop head, it's someone who's really into hip hop and really loves hip hop. That's like what a hip hop is. So, what is it about the stable you know, that makes you feel like they have your back? You know what I mean? I feel like I said before, the key point was that Kiwato Waban can say, firstly. Yeah. These are the people who made me. Yeah. These are the people who saw a rapper in me when I never saw a rapper. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cool. So that's my whole statue of royalty. That's where it starts. Okay. But then throughout, I mean, I, I personally, I wouldn't say any artist should be too comfortable with their name. Yeah. You always need to look out. You can't. You can never be too comfortable in business. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You have to be a business. Person. You need to be aware at all points. Yeah. So I'm saying because they built me. They understand my music, they understand my art, they understand that I write in this kind of atmosphere. 
Hence, I'm still with Nawaza, and I and I don't see Shazzy without Nawaza. If I had to go to another record label right now, they would want to build Shazzy Hippie in a way that they feel comfortable. And I feel that a lot of people wouldn't even take into consideration that I need to finish school. You know mm, what I mean? Mm, it. It'll all be now. She's a golden yeah, ticket, so let's, let's do it. She yeah, needs to be yeah. big. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, man, we were hanging, vibing out, actually in Gaffey's, hanging out with Miss Shaz the Hippie. She went to some some dope, dope vibes, and uh, yeah, I just blooming a cast like. Do you think you're spoiled, like, or do you think that? Parents spoil their children when they're like that, when they're kind of involved in the journey. Yeah, I don't think so because it could go either way. You could either like um, totally succeed in it because you've got the support system. Yeah, yeah. Um, like in my case, yeah. um, my mom was there until I did my first year. So she passed away when I was doing first year in Durban. Okay. And, and I'd, I'd, I'd grown up under that whole vibe. And after that, I never had any support. So, like, I ran away from home at 19. And I've had to like make it work. Yeah. So my whole thing was, you know what, the one person who I knew supported me fully and I actually cared about yeah. the support I cared about, it passed on having given me her blessing. Okay. So none else matters. Okay. And therefore I guess the rebellious mentality also comes from that because I'm not trying to please any of them, you know. So I'd rather be that black sheep and rebel and when I succeed in what it is that I want to succeed in and enjoy it. Um so for me, it worked out because I knew I had that support. I knew that's the person who introduced me to it. I, I knew it. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes you grow and it just is not your thing. Like, yeah, yeah. I felt forced. So it can go either way. Yeah. Like Sometimes you get support and you slack because you know if you're like, oh, mommy, I don't want to sing anymore. I want to yeah. dance. Yeah. So we're like, okay, drop it, do another thing. Which means there's no completion of anything. Okay. And you don't really know what you want to do. And yeah. all that stuff. So she was trying to instill like principle in you. Which I think is what made making it work actually work out. Mm. Because some people are struggling to make it work. Some people are struggling to just get a freelance gig. Mm -hmm. Because no one instilled like a principle of like, yeah, you know, which I think is cool. And I think that a, a, a black parent, black parent, mm -hmm. you know, shouldn't be ashamed to like teach their child to be unapologetic about their shine because yeah. we're almost expected to be like you know mm -hmm. and then yeah Grinch for the has the yeah and like now nah. <laughs> I see this mm -hmm. I can see like you're very humorous in your music mm -hmm. what is the purpose behind the tone you know just the way I choose to yeah the way you choose to like the way yeah yeah for me it's um I mean we're very serious about a lot of things and sometimes you don't reach as many people that need to know about these issues like because I mean I've got songs about sexual liberation, um, eating disorders, yeah. um, like the, drug, the alcoholic one was literally about the police and then I just wrote about James Bond, really? worried about his martinis and chicken not stirred and therefore he can't even chase the criminals which, which is about the SAPS like if you need to protect yourself from the people that are supposed to protect you. So now me saying it that way, it's kind of like okay. But I could, I could. I, my thing is, I want you to sing along and raise awareness without even necessarily knowing what you're singing along to. So someone else might hear what you say. You might not hear it, but it's getting in through because now it's the whole like educating through cool because it's the thing now. Yeah. So then it's me capitalizing on that fan. This is my strategy. I am quite um, witty. Yeah, you are trust. So it, it trust. just it just became a thing. It just yeah. became a thing because I'm quite I'll, I'll like I'll be full of crap when I'm being serious about stuff. Yeah. Because I'm a serious person, but I'm playful.